Hi, this is Lars Kieser from the University of Osnabrück and in this video I want to show you how to install Opencast Matterhorn from the RPM repositories in just a couple of minutes. So, the first thing you want to do is to sign up at uh, lernfunk.de slash repo to get an account for the Matterhorn repository. I already did this before so I can simply log in here and uh, here on this page we get all information we need to uh, enable Matterhorn. So as I know what I'm doing, I'll just go down here and copy this line as this is the most important part and now switch to our testing system. So here we have uh, Scientific Linux uh, 6.3 which uh, comes from a minimal live CD. Um, I uh, basically did nothing to the system. It's uh, all, only thing I uh, did was to uh, create some users and to run a yum update. <coughs> so, uh, first thing we need to do is to switch to the repository directory, which is etc yum.repo.d. In this directory, all information about the currently enabled uh, repositories are stored. And here is here we have to add uh, the information for Matterhorn 2. So we just simply download the information file from the repository. So here we go. And now we have a Matterhorn.repo. Let's have a look at it. Okay. Here you see uh, the Matterhorn repository is enabled, the Matterhorn no architecture uh, repository is enabled by, uh, too. The debug info is uh, disabled by default. Normally you don't need them and don't want to have them. But uh, what you may want to have is a testing repository, which is uh, these two, because um, the normal Matterhorn stable repository contains uh, Matterhorn 1.3.1, which is the latest stable at the moment. However, for this I want to install Matterhorn 1.4. Uh, the latest testing version is 1.4 release candidate 6, and uh, this is in the Matterhorn testing repository. So I have to enable this repository. I simply uh, switch uh, the one the zero for one over here and here <coughs> and with that we have the testing repositories enabled uh, as i said before we don't need the debug info files so we'll just leave it like this so we save it we close it and we know we're ready to go uh, in fact if you haven't done it before you uh, now would have to install the EPL repository. The EPL repository is the Fedora community repository for Red Hat Enterprise Linux distributions. Um, you can simply do it by yum search EPL. Here we go, we got the EPL release package and now would simply yum, run, uh, yum install EPL release. As I said, I've done this before. Here you see the uh, EPL repository files, so I don't have to do it again. Okay, and now we can search for Matterhorn itself. Here we go. So, what you see here is that we have an Opencast Matterhorn 1.4 and Opencast Matterhorn 1.3. As said before, uh, 1.3.1 is the latest stable, so this is it. Um, but we want to have 1.4 release candidate 6, which is everything over here. So, if you don't know what to install, you should simply install Opencast Mod on 1.4. Uh, this package is the default installation, um, which installs well everything you want uh, you need for a first test or so um, if you have more 
uh, information about Matterhorn and know what you want to install, you uh, can install the distributions over here. So, for example, there's a distribution for an admin server, for an admin worker, for a capture agent, and so on and so forth. You could also uh, build your own distribution by installing the Matterhorn profiles, for example, the uh, export profiles, the engage profiles, the uh, admin profile, and so on. And if you really, really do, do know uh, what you're doing, you could also install all Matterhorn modules. So these are the packages over here. However, I want to keep it simple, so I just install the default installation. So I run yum install umcast Matterhorn 1.4. Here we go. Now, uh, will not only install this package but also process all dependencies. This means uh, all Matterhorn modules you need, all Matterhorn profiles you need and also all third-party tools you need. So it will for example install FFmpeg, it will install GStreamer, um, it will install Media Info, QuickTime Subtle Hub, Meta and so on. So we just start the installation and now have to wait. So while we are waiting, let's go back to the description page. Um, as our test system, we used uh, Scientific Linux 6.3. If you want to install the stable releases, so Matter on 1.3.5, you can uh, use as operating system a CentOS 5, a CentOS 6, uh, as well a uh, Scientific Linux 5 and 6, and uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 5 and 6 should also work. However, uh, you, I would recommend you to use CentOS 6 or Scientific Linux 6, and if you want to use uh, the testing repository, so, so uh, you want to install Matterhorn 1.4, you, uh, at least at the moment, really have to uh, use uh, six branch, so Center 6, Scientific Linux 6, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6, or so on. Um, in fact, for the testing release, you could also use uh, Fedora 17 or Fedora 18. Um, we'll have to see if we also uh, bring out a stable for this, but at least uh, you could use the testing for now. Okay, let's go back. Uh, we are almost ready. Here we go. So, uh, we now have a Matterhorn installed. So we could simply run service Matterhorn start. Here we go. And he says Matterhorn is up and running. So let's check. PS AX grab Felix and here we go and we see hey here's a running Matterhorn. Okay, that's it. Thank you for your attention and have fun.